Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to NBOT. Nobody on time. It's me. It's me. You know it. It's just Sal hanging out with the lord of the internet, the king of the computer. It's the man himself, Enrique. What's up, everyone? 71. 71. Never felt so good. 71. 71. I wonder how I'll feel when I'm literally 71. I wonder if this enthusiasm will carry through in my old age. I mean... Judging by the way that your dad is still like going pretty oh, strong and everything, you got good genes, man. That's You're true. Be all right. I got my I got yeah. my mom's blood. That's what's, that's what's <laughs> gonna keep me pretty for as long as I can. And then I got my I got my dad's mitts, <laughs> so that, that'll keep me sturdy. So I should be able to take it for the end game. So keep keep you sturdy and the wife happy. Let's that's go. That's right. That's right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Way to hit it off. Ah. Oh, so. My man, we did it. We finally were able to create an opportunity for us to celebrate our 100 subs from such a while ago to get our uh, play date dinner in. It was amazing. So we took an opportunity to have the WWE watching the premiere live event, whatever the hell they're called now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I still call them the pay-per-view. pay-per-view. And we said, you know what? Let's Let's kill two birds, one stone. And let's also have our 100 sub dinner. So we did. So we winged out. We That's had all right. types wings, of wings. Baby. Yeah, we, we ordered like 64 wings. It was Jason was here with us. And uh, we're watching. Of course, I had to get my naked ones. These guys are, you know, arguing over like the hot ones and who's going to flame out and the other ones. And I'm like, just give me my naked. Yeah, like, we didn't want to go like too hard to the paint because, well, first of all, it was a new spot for me because I never ate wings from there before. So, you know, every place that you go to Wings, they all do sauces differently, dry or wet, whatever. They always do sauces yeah. differently. So, like, um, what's that? Wing Stop does it way different than, you know, B-dubs. You know, right. and, and then we have a, a couple local spots that just, like, they either drench it or they don't. So, I was telling Jason, I was like, hey, man, I don't know how you are with Wings, but I'm all about, like, if they go boneless, like, I could devour. It doesn't matter how, I mean, it matters how hot. But, it like, it yeah. really doesn't. I feel like I can eat more boneless wings than I could boned wings. But right. I feel like you get more sauce on boned wings. I don't know I don't know what that is in my head that tells me that, but I, I don't know. I think it's, like, kind of built into the bone. And when you cook it like that, you get more flavor that comes out of the bone. Because that's the whole, for me, I think that's the whole point. Well, how about they're just bigger? Isn't that, I mean, is that the thing? The yeah. bone makes it actually, there's more surface to have more sauce on it. Yeah, the chicken I mean, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not just like a squeeze paste. I th- see what my problem is, is that I saw like a documentary once of how they made chicken nuggets. And it's essentially yeah. just like, you know, it's almost like frosting a cake. They just got this huge batter in a tube and they just squeeze out the shapes and like, that's it. I'm like, Ugh, like, yeah. I, but I mean, I still keep going to, nuggets because that's all i can eat at mcdonald's i can't eat the burgers at mcdonald's because i don't know what it is about the either the meat or the way that they like lamp it or i I say cook it in quotes it just doesn't settle (laughs) well for me so like that's why i eat burgers at burger king and burgers at uh wendy's because they grill it like they have that yeah right 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 but like mcdonald's doesn't do that and it's always it's never settled well in my stomach so the quarter pounders they do that now Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, the quarter pounders, like your last year and a half, they do it. They they cook them fresh. Yeah, they cook them on the grill. I think my brain will just force me to puke it anyway. Oh, and I missed the <laughs> opportunity to grab the cookies. Now that we're talking about that, damn it! You didn't grab the cookies. I did. I totally Come forgot. On, I got so I got so like in my head of let me just grab my you know two dollar McChicken and a ten piece and I'm good to go. That'll hold me. That'll that's enough. To get me through, you know, eight hours of the day. So when I drive home and I feel like I got too light of a lunch or I didn't eat breakfast, uh, I'll I'll cheat and pretty much do that on the way home. And then I'll have to like sit on. I was gonna say sit on my elliptical or whatever you want to call that stationary <laughs> bike. Lol, well, please, please spin. finish finish <laughs> what you were gonna sit on, please. For the love of yeah. God, <laughs> yeah, dude, sit and spin, baby. Get used to it. Anyway, so. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, wings are different everywhere you get them. Uh, and uh, I didn't want to, like, overdo it with a spot that I wasn't familiar with. So I told Jason, I go, let's just get, like, we're going to do buffalo chicken because that's, like, your go-to for, quote, hot wings for a white guy, end quote. And then we'll do, like, maybe a level or two above that because they had, like, that chipotle 
chili ro- i don't i can't remember what it was like they had too many sub it was a lot it was a lot and they were all spicy like i couldn't believe yeah. uh, like the whole selection was spicy because even that barbecue sauce yeah see the thing with the barbecue sauce which was really weird like they put it as a medium which i don't think like your basic it wasn't at all sauce is not first of all it wasn't hot at all it was just like sticky it was it's if it felt like it was frozen wings that they just heated up and put in like a and put in a pile didn't even give me a shake, you know. I mean, I it's don't like to shake my wings. Just give me them plain, bro. It's just like that's what I'm saying with the like with my with my bag of fries. Like you guys shake it up. Oh, I but know. Like, you wanted to too with the container. You're like, just shake it up. Yeah, I was I was trying to convince your boy. I'm like, dude, just bag fry it. It's it'll be yeah. fine. But like they ended up nah, getting cold. Feeling them. And he wasn't feeling them. Nah, and, he wasn't uh, feeling them. They were like over. They were over peppered anyway. And then when you have when you put too much salt and pepper on fries, and then they get cold. You don't taste yeah. the fry. You just taste all the pepper that they put on it or whatever. So, so that, I mean, that's my go-to spot for wings in this area. I mean, um, plain so... wings. I could, I could see myself destroying what we ordered on my own. Oh Abs- yeah, for absolutely, sure. absolutely. What? Give me that. Give me like two of them ranch cups or whatever that you want to call it. They were huge. Those and, cups and then, were huge. Uh, I'm good to go. Like that. I could yeah. understand why you enjoy the plain ones there, because like the wings were good. But they, for me, they weren't. I, I felt like I'd have to go to the top three heat to feel yeah. the heat because that the buffalo sauce wasn't like it was nothing. No, it was nothing. But it was like I didn't have any heat to it. I don't know. So I mean, for the, the price the wings though, it was decent. a good price. It was a good price. Yeah, for what we no, got. it was for that quantity. It was good price. I mean, that's definitely right. a recommended right. spot. So for that quantity, um, for like the consistency between each like package, so it, it didn't feel like. It was just the same wing, kind of tossed in the same bucket. No, right, right, right. Um, probably the only downfall, as is tradition, when you order out food from spots like that, is the fries just suck. But like that, yeah. we, did, we didn't even pay for the fries. They just no, right. Us, like, they just threw them in. Fries, which was kind They're of like, weird. we know they suck, so just have them for free. Yeah, just take them. So, no. <laughs> take them. Like, like, so like I said, we we have our opportunity. We hit our hundred subs. So we're like, yeah. we're gonna celebrate, meal it up, and we get there and we just start devouring everything. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, we haven't taken a picture yeah, for bro, our social medias. <laughs> yeah. So he's done with his wings. I, I grab a barbecue wing because I'm not even eating them because, like, the spice is just yeah, absolutely destroying me. Yeah. And so he's done with wings. I have a barbecue. I'm like, let's take a picture. He takes a bunch of fries. I take a handful of fries and just shove them in my face. I'm like, take a picture, man. He's like, hurry up. Hurry up, because I got to chew. It's going to fall on my face. And he's trying to get an angle with the with the like the wing in his hand and it's not working i'm starting to drool because my mouth is pretty much open <laughs> like, yeah on. no we didn't we didn't look good as a unit behind no. the scenes but the photo came out very nice please check it out on all of our social yeah. medias they're posted everywhere yeah. posted on discord facebook instagram yeah. all there so that check it out for sure it was, uh, very, we're, we're uh, just... it was a very photogenic picture of you again absolutely and Everyone i look, I look like picture. i look like i just got power bound through a table so like that <laughs> so i guess the the wing did do something to me so <laughs> they definitely definitely did so it was it was a good night uh we're actually gonna have jason on to do a special episode like we had Beckham on mm-hmm. last time mm-hmm. we're gonna do a special episode of road to wrestlemania after the rumble we're gonna have him on that's his specialty he's gonna be our second guest on again not part of the normal episodes but these are gonna be add-on stuff you know uh, sal's editing up the uh beckham yeah. bit I'm he'll edit up the, the jason bit i might yeah. have a uh, part one <laughs> release for nice. tomorrow so absolutely so we're, so we're excited about that that was a good definitely a good recording the jason one should be even better uh, so we had a lot of funny things happen during the rumble mm-hmm. i i think the funniest thing was what, what had you almost like pissing your pants oh man that was great <laughs> So we're we're sitting there watching. It's it's the women's part of the Royal Rumble. Yeah, come so up it's, first. it's the it's the women's Royal Rumble section. It's the opening match of the of the pay per view, yeah. and uh, of course, like Jason and I are like wrestleheads. Like we know a lot Absolutely. about like past, present, and future. Uh, very much are they uh, they're referred to as marks. Like that, you just know what's going on. You don't even have to watch it. Not to say that. I mean, I am a mark. I called every winner before the pay per view even started. Keep in mind, I haven't you watched did. wrestling you in did. like a year and a half. That's how predictable and, uh, and it is. Still, huh? And still, we kind of yeah, like the oh, you just can't be, don't beat the dead horse. It's just it's still milking out something good. So, um, 
so yeah, as the the women wrestlers are coming out, you know, every ninety seconds or so, um, Enrique doesn't really know a lot about them. Jason knows too much about their social lives, and I know oh, a little bit God. about their wrestling lives. So Enrique is like, "Who's that?" And then Jason would find like a social media picture with them, and then I would be like, "Oh yeah, they won this championship or that championship," and we'd all kind of so. Like, a tornado of information going at Enrique. So like like somewhere between 15 and 20, right? It's out of 30 contestants. Mm -hmm. Here comes this this goddess. <laughs> this is almost perfect specimen of a woman. She's a Filipino, African American. She is in all the right places, curvy, comes out and I'm like, "Who is that?" <laughs> Jason goes right into his encyclopedia of knowing every wrestler and who she is, where she came from, and he's all I hear is wah 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 and gives you the name. I'm like, cool. <laughs> wah, wah, so wah, wah. very Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, I'm just watching what's going on. So everything she's doing, I'm witnessing it, and like, there's not a bad angle. Normally with women, there's like a bad angle. Like you don't want to go that. There was no bad angle there. So all of a sudden, he brings up a photo from her social media stuff. And he's like, check her out. So I look, and it was like, <laughs> you know, when you walk into like the church and you hear like the horns play and like the the doves fly out from behind you. There's like some wind that goes under my coat and it flies out like a P Diddy video. <laughs> I'm looking at her, <laughs> and he's got it out there like a carrot, and I just need to get it. So I start going towards it. He slowly starts pulling it back. So I'm fully extending to grab the phone like he don't want to give me the phone. What are you showing me that you're not wanting to give it to me? So Sal sees all of this. <laughs> Sal absolutely starts to die. He, I'm he crying. Is I fell, over on, the, I fell over on the couch. I'm crying because he's like, oh, it's so close. It's kind of like a, it's like <laughs> Snape reaching for the invisible cloak. <laughs> it's like his fingers are right there, but he can't grab it. But it's all right. in slow motion. And I'm like. <laughs> what what did I just witness? I'm just it's uh Caden Carter. Caden Carter was the uh, wrestler that you were speaking God, about. So I'm just like, bro, like let me see the photos. And like he's pulling it away, like he doesn't want like he's he's got a secret that he just doesn't want to get <laughs> like only for him. <laughs> so I finally get a hold of the phone and I'm like, oh my god, she's got this I don't want to call it Asian or what it is, but she looks like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. So she's got this hat on and it's a side it's like the you know the, the profile pic mm -hmm. of like just her from like an ankle to to the top of her head with the radio i'm like electrify me just electrocute my butt right now mm -hmm. i like oh my god the fishnets were out the tattoos oh dude i i'm i'm gonna watch more of the the women's like oh wrestling. that like, that was uh uh the, the one that did the radio thing that was no not see lee Zia Lee had the, um, she had like the swords or whatever. Oh, man. We'll find out when Jason comes on. Well, he'll tell us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah, he'll tell oh, us. my God, bro. Like, I, it was ridiculous. But, and, and the entire time. Oh, that was time, Mia Yim. Mia Yim. That's, that's her name. That sounds right. That yeah. sounds right. But, oh, my God. Like, I was ready to, like, just risk it all. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. Just, I'll be right there. Don't worry. Like, I, whatever you got going on personally, like, I'm going to snatch you up from that. It was like, funny because be that was literally, like, the real momentum in the crowd at the time. Like, the crowd was way more into it. I mean, obviously, it's first match. It's Raw yeah. Rebel. So, the crowd was, they were pacing out pretty well. But, like, right around when Caden came out, which was the African-American girl that you really liked, um, at number 13. Then, the Raiden hat came out at number 25. And that's when you kind of re-ramped into getting oh, interested in it. Man. It was fun watching a, a casual fan get into it. It was fun watching a serious like WWE loyalist and Jason get into it. And I was like, I just want to see something other than WWE people. So like you had a couple of NXT girls. Uh, what's her name? Jade Cargill showed up, the girl who was part of AEW. She was that really strong like African-American girl that pretty much like Gorilla Slam Nia Jax out. So like yeah, that right, was right. really cool, and you had Jordan Grace showed up. She's a TNA champion now that um, WWE and TKO combined forces into like another billion dollar deal or whatever. TKO owns TNA Wrestling or right. Impact Wrestling, so now you can kind of, you know, you can kind of combine those uh, 
combine those rosters to make some some cool stuff. Uh, then Naomi came back, so there there was much more cool stuff that happened during the women's match, not, even not though for me. the wrestling was meh and, and uh, <laughs> the eliminations were meh until yeah. like the last you got to the last like four people. Man, but, um, when I saw when I saw all the booty flying around and everyone <laughs> oh is doing god. like stink faces and stuff, I was I was like, oh my god! Like the like the set like he said the moves were kind of eh, whatever, but oh my god, there it was it was ridiculous. I was in heaven, and then Jason is sitting there trying to just crush my soul with every you know, cute girl that comes <laughs> out by saying, oh she's married to so and so, and she's married to so and so, and she's with oh boy, and she's with I'm like, bro. Yeah. Every single one that came out, he knew exactly what was going on on, on the social front with them and who they were yeah. married to, who they were interested to. And I'm like, just stop. But it, it just, <laughs> like, he just kept giving up. just kept giving up. <laughs> yeah. Because as soon as she came out, as soon as the goddess came out, I said, I want to hear it. I don't want to <laughs> hear it. Don't tell me who she's married to. And he's like, she's too new. I really don't know. And I'm like, well, you're about to know real soon because it's going to be me. Yeah. And then he remembered. <laughs> Yeah, well, he tried to. He didn't say it though. He didn't say it because he knew he knew better. Would have kicked him out right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this would have been an early. And I were, the food we were, hadn't we even had arrived so yet. So many funny glances at him and I. I'm like, just, yeah, I, I, like gave him the heads up. Do it, do it. <laughs> like, uh, like uh, the emperor. Do it. Yeah, do it slowly. Do it, very do, do it. Do <laughs> the fact that you know where I was going. Oh, of course, there's two God. lies, baby. Of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Hey, Janet. Jan Yo, Janet's in here. Oh, snap. My alarm went off. Yes, My alarm yes. went off. So, yeah, WWE, you know, premium live event, probably a hard 6 out of 10. And it's only that high because it's been so long since we watched one. So, it's definitely like the atmosphere of being with you and Jason made it more entertaining. Yeah. Um. And and then your boy joining in was hilarious because oh he, had, he had. It took him a while because I know that he's gonna dance. He's always gonna dance. He's a, he he has a crowd and he likes to it's show dancing. off. That's not dancing. Well, whatever. That's, that's not I'm, that I'm not allowed to say it like that. It's your boy. It's not my boy. I'm, so. I'm gonna say it right now. So my whole job for Noah is to keep him off the pole. <laughs> This dude is twerking. He's doing the magic mic dances. He's doing the roll. He's doing all this stuff. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, stop. And as I'm telling him to stop, it's like I'm encouraging him to do yeah, it. He more. wraps it up because he knows he that dad is embarrassed. The, the, <laughs> the motion in the ocean with this kid. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? Where did you learn this? Like, I don't move like that in public. Right? <laughs> like, so, like, where are you getting this from? Like what 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 is up? So it's in the blood and he's been dancing since birth. And it's one of those things where I'm like, come on, bro, like what are you doing to me? And he's down, he's showing up, you know, because he knows I'm embarrassed. Yeah. So yeah, the other two are you guys are egging him on. At you first know, I was know. laughing. Yeah. And then I yeah, realized <laughs> this is still going. And I probably still, shouldn't laugh it as would, much as I it wouldn't stop. Yeah. I'm like, so and I'm just thinking to myself, it's payback, bro. My like fault. Yeah, it's payback. When I start meeting your kids and you're doing stuff that's annoying you, I'm just going to laugh and say, continue it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've already gotten past that point where trying to explain to my daughter that you shouldn't be doing the dances you saw on the Ricky Barton video. And it's all just butt rolling. And I'm like, wh yeah, why are yeah. you doing that? You are yeah, five. Right. Can you stop? Imagine if we get them together. Oh, no, it'd be endless. It'd, it'd and that's be a TV endless. show waiting to happen. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. The 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 kind of moves this kid has, I'm going to be a grandparent real soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I want either. I'm not ready, I'm not to, ready I'm to be not, a pop-up. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not ready for <laughs> our bloodline to, to join. That's not the bloodline that I had in mind. <laughs> Yeah, I thought we were, let's join I, our I houses. The, I thought the let's join I thought, our houses. Yeah, I thought the closest bloodline that we were going to do was Roman, but I don't know what the way our kids are. They haven't even met yet, but I know that they're going to hit even it, met. They would hit it off the minute they met each other. So absolutely, absolutely. So but yeah, no, so, that, that's what's going on with that. With yeah, that stuff. overall, and, it was uh, a fun time. Uh, even though the match was the matches weren't top tier, but again, not something that I really expect from WWE. Uh, right. I mean, I was expecting something, some kind of big storyline to pop, bring in a legend or two. Then none of that happened. It was real just, I think, with the whole shadow of Vince 
yeah, all that stuff going on. Like they wanted to just put out a stable show and just kind of get past yeah, it already. Just like, but, yeah, let's move yeah. on to let let everyone get distracted and just do what they need to do. Yeah, no, it wasn't good. But again, we'll go more in depth in this when we get Jason on on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be live here on TikTok, and then at some point it'll come out on YouTube. Uh, we'll give Sal some time to to get it chopped up. You know, this this isn't his only job, so it's no problem. That's fine. We'll definitely job. wait for it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, that was exciting. That was a good time. Um, but since we have Janet live here on the TikTok, oh, let's do some work about... stuff. Yeah, let's do some. Yeah, work let's stuff. get to work stuff right away. Go ahead. Uh, let's see highlights to my day. I mean, I had both a good and a bad highlight to my day. Let's start with the bad, so that we can get we can get that out of the way. Um, I get a phone call this morning at about six thirty in the old crack of the morning, saying, "Hey, Sal, it's so and so from location insert location here." I was like, "Hey, good morning," and I and I'm sign like I'm purposely sign sounding more groggy because I just don't want to deal with the conversation. Also, why are you calling me at six thirty in the morning? So he's like, "Hey, uh, I noticed that as I came into the site that one of your guards looks like he was slumped over and he wasn't really attentive." And uh, do you know who that is? I go, uh, unfortunately, I'm not really in front of a computer at the moment, and I don't have the shifts, like, memorized to perfection. I can find out for you pretty quick, though. Uh, give me about an hour just to confirm staff. I can confirm, you know, the transitions between the shifts, make sure that everyone's up and at them, and then we'll, we'll kind of just go from there. Okay, well, I just, I really want to know, and, uh, you know, I don't really appreciate having to walk past someone that's, you know, supposed to be attentive, and then they just don't. I was right. like, okay, I understand that. Like, that's a, that's a you know, a completely viable complaint. And I get it. And then, you know, we hung up and we went from there. So I started texting a few people. I started texting the morning shift. Like, hey, if you had the opportunity to jump in early, go for it. Uh, just give me a heads up on who's on duty. So I, I can throw, you know, some names back at the client just for the sake of getting names out there. And uh, I find out who it is, and I understand what's going on. But the fact that I have to get a phone call, you walk past this guy, right? You you don't even introduce yourself. You just walk right past the dude. He knows that you work for the location. So he's not going to do all the extra check-ins because you don't, you don't need it. You, the person, don't need it. Because you constantly tell them you don't need it. Right. Uh, they only need it for people that aren't him. Like, he stresses that. So I'm like, why don't you just give the guy a little pat on the shoulder? Be like, hey, man, just uh, why don't you sit up for a second or, you know, do like a little two-minute walk outside real quick just to kind of wake yourself up for the last hour of the shift. No, he's going to walk past the guy, not give him a heads up, no courtesy, and then call me asking me to wake him up. Like, suddenly he's going <laughs> to wake up for me or whatever. He's like, and then keep me updated with what you're going to do about that moving forward. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, in my head, I'm saying, like, like there's an hour before the shift ends. And he's he's tired, bro. That's just, yeah, like, right. some people aren't built for the overnight. That's not, like, a regular thing. That's an acquired taste. Like, if you're not going to do, if you're not built for overnights, you're not going to get into it quickly. No, right. it, it, it takes time to kind of readapt, you know, 20 years of falling asleep pretty much at the same time and waking up relatively it's, just not being up like that so uh, that that that's the kind of the, that, that's the energy i started my day with and then of course like both my kids woke up and it, it's like it's like the world just knows like the, the aura of my life just understands where it's like oh sal got two phone calls at six and six thirty in the morning let's just wake his kids up at full energy right as my yeah, right. wife closes the door i get i get gorilla press slam by my son and then frog splash by my daughter. I was like, okay, like okay, let's do. I'm like, well, I just have to get through one more hour because if I can survive this hour, my mother will walk through the door and then she can deal with them. So I'll give, oh! yeah, I'll give this dude the banana. I'll give this little girl the like wafer, you know, the baby cookies or whatever. They can both. One can have milk. One can have juice. Uh, and I'll water down the juice so the sugar's not too capped out. And then I just have to sit here. Here, you take my phone. Here, you take the tablet. I'm like, let's put this on the TV, and then I'll let's all trade, and we'll figure it out. So every 10 minutes, I have an alarm going off so that we trade. Everyone, I was like, switch. I get my phone back. <laughs> you take the tablet. You watch the TV. 
So I'm like, I just have to get through an hour and then my mom's here. And then we did, and my mom was there, and I was like pretty much crawling to the door to open it. It was awesome and hilarious for her. And then, uh, okay, so now I'm back into the rip. So now that my mom showed up, of course, the phone starts texting me. I'm like, I'm just trading off. I just get to trade. So fast forward to the good part of my day. Uh, It came to a point where... I'm, I'm over pacing myself and I'm going too far into the future with like setting the schedules and, you know, making repairs to the weekend and trying to figure out why our, our like clock in system wasn't working. And Jason was trying to figure it out too. We're putting out it requests and, you know, he's doing his setup with the phones. I'm doing my setup with like the payroll discrepancies and just trying to like get things in order and trying to figure out why after three months, things are still breaking down and I can't, like, I'm trying to just look at a different way to approach answers. So I take a break, and I do, like, two or three laps, just walking laps around the office. No phone on me, no nothing. I just walk, just to distract my brain. You know, I'm saying hi to other the other people on the other side of the cubes. I'm talking to uh, one of our recruiters about, um, like, a stand-up kind of improv group that that's uh, starting to get really big on... YouTube, they have like a million subscribers or whatever. They got it like relatively quick. Um, They're called Yeah Mad, like Y-E-A-H, like yeah, like oh yeah. So they're called Yeah Yeah Mad. Uh, Just a bunch of Australian improvers. So if anyone wants to see like the battle of the dad jokes, like this huge group of like seven or eight improvers do this, like I think every once, every two weeks or something like that, they put out a video. And um, they're at a point where they're so big that they start doing other things. So they do like roast battles and like tag team improv joke offs and stuff like that so anyway so i'm talking to the recruiter about that i'm you know i'm talking to one of our other operation guys who runs like essentially our mobile team and how he kind of like completely changed the way that they set up and it looks awesome like i think that type of like setup that he has on his boards just makes my ocd smile um and then i swing around the janet so i'm going to janet's desk and we were started talking about oh uh someone mentioned something about my haircut which is not really that it's kind of, it's not really business in the front party in the back but I said <laughs> I can't grow my hair to do party in the back to go full mullet cuz my yeah. hair I can't it won't grow it won't grow like that um it just curls out once I start getting it longer so it That's very funny. much does like a an 80s curl where I could I could look like Scott Steiner when he started wrestling, like with the oh, old wrestling yeah. attire. Right, right. So right. I was like, you know, if I really wanted to go for it, I could go full Scott Steiner with the big poof in the front and the curls in the back, and I could go 80s one way or another. And uh, I'll show up to this office in like neon outfits, and I'll get a fanny pack, and then that started a uh, not a heated conversation, but we're like do you call it a fanny pack or like a man purse or a satchel? And I was like, no, 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 no. There's, there's very key differences between these three here. Okay. So the fanny pack, you know, <laughs> clicks, it's got the zipper, you know, as at a belt and it has a zipper and you put all your traveling essentials inside there. A satchel has no zipper. It's either like a button or something that's like kind of over the shoulder. But it's not necessarily a man purse because a man purse has it's over the shoulder and a zipper. You know, it's almost pr- right. it's very right. purse like. And yes. then and then there's like the business, uh, you know, like the, just like a briefcase kind of thing. Um. So. So there's that, and then she, she started like comparing like the '80s retro like neon styles to to other things, and she tells me, "Oh, do you remember that type of like really bright colored hieroglyphic one?" And I'm like, "What hieroglyphics? You mean like Egypt, Sanskrit? Like it, the symbol is a <laughs> is a word, like it's a bird kind of deal?" And she's like, "Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm saying." I'm like, yeah, it's like glitter and like neon. And um, she ended up looking it up and finding that it was holographic is what she meant to say. Holographic. <laughs> Not hieroglyphics. And, I, and I'm like, I feel like I fell down, but I'm still clearly standing. But it's like that. I had back-to-back days. Like you reaching for the phone with Jason floored me and I was crying. <laughs> and her telling me that a, a that a multicolored like neon glitter effect was hieroglyphics and i oh i i'm surprised i didn't get hospitalized 
right then and there. That, I was, that's I, hilarious. I, I was just, I felt like I was laughing louder than I should have. Like that, you laugh so hard that you're embarrassing the person who said something. Oh, absolutely. And I'm like, Janet, you can't say stuff like that to me and not expect me to react to you <laughs> the way that I did. She's like, yeah, but you know what I meant. I'm like, I know what I, I know what you meant because. I've been like <laughs> reconfiguring my brain to understand what like foolish people saying foolish things to me, like s- saying, "Oh, I ain't gonna, c- I ain't gonna come into work," and they spell "come" c u m. I'm like, that's that's where my brain is to to like to level with the kind of the workforce that we deal with, and then you just called colors hieroglyphics to me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, that's going to be on the cast. I'm talking about you. You know how hard I defend you sometimes? I'm like, you just lost it today, so you better get yeah, on there. Yeah, absolutely. So, I, well, uh, Janet, I'm of... so sorry, but holy <laughs> guacamole. That was, uh, I loved it. I talked about it at dinner. Uh, I talked about it. I showed what hieroglyphics were to my kids. Uh, I th- I'm talking about it now and like reliving the, the most joyous moment of my Monday. <laughs> it was great. It was great. I loved well, it. Well, speaking of defending stuff, you know, so I'm I'm in the office and I, I've got her and Brian in my office. Mm-hmm. And I haven't seen Brian in forever since that one incident that happened where we had the lady who kind of challenged me on the job and we ended up having to call the cops to get her out. Oh, So yeah, him and I yeah. are now rehashing that out. Because, you know, he's got to bring it up because yeah, there's nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Right. No, well, he's expert level on like, he's like one of those, oh, I'm being innocent, but he's like, he's being a troll at the same time. Yeah. So, like, he's like bringing it up, like, oh, like, what happened with that girl? Just trying to get me to then get re agitated. So, you know, we're going through it. And then all of a sudden, Janice starts playing defense attorney. On, on this person on what happened and how it, it's not the applicant's fault or the former employee's fault yes, that, Brian's. you know, that stuff. <laughs> no, not only, no, she didn't even give it to Brian. Oh, wow. She said that, that this could have been avoided before she even came in. So I then started giving her some backstory on, you know, look, she was explaining the position twice, accepted it twice before yeah. she even stepped foot in here. If it wasn't for Brian's little comment about just get on through and we'll get you switched out, she wouldn't have had that whole entitled, entitled like attitude about how her job is secure. Even though she agreed on one position, she was going to go for another one and we were going to give it to her just because we're desperate. So like, I'm trying to explain that to her and she's like, no, like that, that's not, that's not right. You know how this things go. And I'm just like, look, I went to her with the intention of giving her another spot. That's true, because we and, talked about that before yes, we started. Yes, absolutely. I, I mean, she lived in a city where we have openings, and there's constant openings. So why wouldn't I try to put her in that opening? So I went with the intentions. Once the energy that she brought on came out, and all of a sudden she wanted to test my gangster, I said, okay, let's get G with it. And that's what happened. So, yeah. like, I didn't go there with the preconceived notion that I was going to just get rid of her regardless of what yeah. she said. I came over there thinking I'm going to salvage her. She yeah. made a mistake. She's obviously desperate for a job. So let's let's just let's just get this. We have an opening. But once she come out, you know, guns are blazing. I, I had a, I had to stop it and say, we're just not going to move forward. I don't feel comfortable with that. And I had to explain to her that I hire people for customer service roles. Yeah. If you can't present yourself well and be professional with me and I'm your boss, how are yeah. you going to be with a bunch of random people uh, that are out there that you don't even know? Yeah. I said it was already a bad look. So eventually, like Janet always she, Janet has two looks. The one look <laughs> is confidence. Like, I'm going to get you like blah, blah, blah. the other look is like, hmm. OK, I get it, which I love about her. Because she, she, as long as you present a well enough argument, she's going to say, okay, I get it. Right. And that that's one of the best things about Janet is she's not super stubborn. At least she presents like she's not super stubborn. I know she's super <laughs> stubborn because we've had other things that we've talked about and she's been super stubborn about. But when it comes down to giving good arguments, she'll listen to you, hear your concerns, and she'll she'll pivot, mm-hmm. which is nice. In her position, she should be able to pivot. She should be able to listen to both sides. Right. And she came in there with that preconceived notion that I was wrong, and I handled it inappropriately, even though she wasn't there. Uh, but I had to have that out with her, and she finally realized it at the end. 
So Janet, I just want to say thank you for being open minded yeah, and close minded line. at the same time. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being you. <laughs> you keep me, you keep me sharp. You keep yeah, me sharp, and I appreciate it, even though it's completely needless and you just irritate me. But I appreciate that's right, it. that's right. She's putting LOL in the chat. Yeah, so and it allows me to be sharper when I encounter people who I can't play with, like how we do banter. Right. So it allows me to be a better, a better business person in the long run. Well, you know what also happens is when I deal with people in my mind, I think, "What would Janet say to me if I don't handle this correctly?" <laughs> so you have a natural she, worry. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <great>. <laughs> so, like, I don't. I obviously don't run my life. I'm thinking, "What would Janet do?" Yeah, but w- I w- do. JD. <laughs> <laughs> that's not w- what I'm. That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm doing. But I do run my the way I talk to people based on how Janet would feel about it, and she keeps me humble. So I just that she's she's definitely needed in the office. Don't try to leave, even though you try to leave about twenty times. Don't go nowhere because we need you. Yeah, and if that's you know somewhere, nice. please tell me. Don't tell me. I don't want to go there. No, just so I know <laughs> if I can fill in your role or not. Oh, we're not to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna leave, just give us a heads up. Yeah, right. Because I, I don't so think she, I, I don't think I can ha- I don't think I can handle either a. Um, your counterpart going at this full time, or B, <laughs> JC picking up the reins and taking over at that point. I don't, I'm not mentally no, prepared we can't. for that. We can't have the counterpart. It would be insane. It would be the Wild West in our office. <laughs> It'd if, be uh, awesome. I would over. love it as a storyteller, but I would the hate cops, it. The as cops a human. would be at our office. All oh, right. No, yeah. we'd have so many stories. The cops would be called all the time. Like, yeah. she is quick on that trigger. Yeah. Because she don't like deal with nobody. No, she don't. It's that. it's it's done. It's over. There's there's no yeah. compassion. It's either you come in smart or you you're just gonna yeah. leave in handcuffs. And she does give a lot of opportunities for you to come in smart because she gives it to you straight. <laughs> and when you're when you have someone who sounds like they're giving you attitude and they're just giving you straight numbers, straight facts, can't really complain at that point. You just gotta you get can't. it right. You can't. Or get it does. wrong and then you <laughs> and then you and then you gotta deal with it. Yeah, right. It's 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 a lot, but uh, the dynamic in the office is nice. They feed off each other, you know, bad cop, good cop. Yeah. And you know, Jason's the other cop. So yeah, Jason, and then yeah. <laughs> let me talk to you about someone who's not in my best graces. And oh. that is my comadre, right? The lady that allowed me to uh to baptize her daughter. <laughs> Every week she comes into the office and says, Oh, Layla's saying padrino, padrino, padrino. She wants to go to your house, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, it's causing great. fights. It's causing fights yeah. in the house. Causing fights in the house. I'm like, okay, bring her over this weekend. Caesar, my son, had his play this weekend, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, bring her over. I'd love to hang out with her. Definitely love to have her overnight. No problem. Fine. She sets it up. I said, Saturday, just tell me what time you're bringing her. I look at my phone all day Saturday. I see nothing. nothing. Let left on red, left on scene. However you want to say being neglected and left on, that's what I was feeling all day Saturday. So then... Sunday comes and she sends a text like, well, where are y'all going to be watching the game at? Oh, really? That that's, I'm going to watch the game with you after what you just did to me. You, you <laughs> ripped my heart out. You ripped my heart out and you put a pencil in it and you put it on the ground. I'm sitting here waiting for my goddaughter and you don't even send her. You don't even have an excuse. You don't even tell me. She starts giving me this cockamamie story about how her mom took her to Rockford and blah, 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 blah. And then all her mom kept saying is, oh, my gosh, she won't stop talking about a padrino. Yeah, she won't stop talking about it because you don't bring her by. (laughs) I'm saying I want my goddaughter. I want her this weekend. I know you don't listen to the podcast, so I'm going to have to, like, take it out and, like, make a TikTok about it and put it a tag you on it so that you know what's going on. Uh, bring her over here. I miss her. And stop being a jerk face. And uh, let, let's let's be cordial about this. Her birthday's coming up, you know, month and a half. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. I, I need her over here. Stop being like that. All of a sudden, your mom is taking her there. You're, you know, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Just stop. So she came in with her excuses today, and I put her in her place. Yeah, and so. to think that I that I could have seen the chop in person. 
the chop in person would have been epic. <laughs> I told you, she would have been like Gunther. She would have started chopping everyone. Everyone would have got a chop. No one was going to be excluded. And some we would have gotten a couple chops. She was ready. I mean, I, I was waiting for her. I had her all her space picked out where she was going to sleep. She was going to spend time with Noah. Hopefully Noah's not teaching her how to dance. Because, you know, that's going to be a lot for me all at once. Um, I just, Jenny, I know you're out there. Be better. <laughs> just, that's the theme, bro. Just be better. <laughs> be better. It's Don't universal. apologize. Just do better. Yeah, Bring I, my goddaughter over. Apologies don't mean anything to me. I want Nothing a, at I want all. Action. Yeah, she came in looking like a wreck because she knew how she did me dirty all weekend. She came in looking hot mess. I don't know what the hell was going on with her, but you know, you got to fix yourself before you come to work. <laughs> you and, and fix yourself. Fix yourself before you wreck yourself. So let me let me switch gears, right? That was that was the upset of the weekend. Let me talk about what I was most proud of over the weekend. Mm-hmm. My son Caesar absolutely destroying the role of Maui on the Moana Jr. musical this weekend. Three shows. I went to two out of three of the shows. Absolutely destroying the character was the standout of the play. I have several testimonies because they do shout out cards to all the kids. Several people said he was the, he was the best one out there. He was. He was. He was incredible. Again, dude is super shy. Doesn't ever let me see. Doesn't let me witness what's going on. Doesn't rehearse his stuff in front of me. Wait. So me seeing this for the first time blew me away absolutely blew me away i recorded the whole thing um i was definitely blown away the stuff that was going on was incredible he was uh, a natural you can tell he had been putting a lot of work on it his teacher told me that you know he was incredible to work with always fun loving always like you know kind of class clown kind of thing to keep the tension down or keeping the pressure off people by making them laugh and i looked dead at his teacher and i said he's not like that at home (laughs) Give me the solution, bro, because he's not like that at home. And the teacher's just absolutely laughs. He's just busting out. He's like, well, I guess maybe it's me. I said, well, maybe. How about I, I teach the drama and you come home and be the dad? I'm like, let's tap out because he's not like that at home. And I love that and also, like, despise it because I'm like, you know, I, I, I want you to treat me like you treat strangers. But, you know, obviously <laughs> when he's at home, he feels comfortable and he kind of lets loose. Uh, but it was, it was amazing. It was definitely a proud dad moment. Um, it was, I, I can't even, words can't describe it. You know, to see him play, sing, you know, he was acting, he was, he was doing everything. All the kids did a great job also. Like it wasn't a bad production on his second show though. Let me tell you this. I'm going to have to swear. So just Uh-oh. leave it. Don't believe I it. Got you. So he, there, you know, obviously the curtains closed and all the kids are in the background moving, scattering things. He has a hot mic. Uh-oh. He must drop, he drops his hook and <laughs> clear as day. He just says, <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's him because I hear it at home. He says that <laughs> like, everyone, no. <laughs> everyone cracks up. Everyone's dying and like, he doesn't realize what's going on. And it reminded me of, um, what is, is that fist fight where the little girl comes on and sings the, I don't F with you. Um, song remember, yeah. with uh, with all boy. Have you seen that that movie? No. So fist it's fight. a hilarious part. It's fist fight. It's Ice Cube. I forget the guy's name. The the comedian Charlie that Day? plays in it. I believe so. Yeah, so uh, Sunny, yeah, whatever Sunny in Philadelphia or something. Yes, yes. So he he has this moment where his daughter wants him to sing like do like this whole dance thing on a song for a talent show, and he's like, you know, okay, baby, I'll be there. Whatever. He has a whole like. A fight going on with Ice Cube. Ice Cube wants to whoop him. So, like, he's trying to avoid getting into a fist fight with him. So, he ends up getting to the show late. And the girl went out on her own and did like whatever she was going to do. And it bombed. And she was like, she felt terrible. Right. Like, she's like, oh my God, daddy, you weren't there. Whatever. He comes there. He's like, look, we can just redo it. Like, we'll, we'll do what you wanted to do. We'll do the whole bit. She's like, are you serious? And she, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the mom's pregnant. She goes on and tells them that, that they're going to go back on. She flips the record over to the song they're going to do. And they come out. And the whole the whole thing is hilarious because the little girl's like, hey, Becca, this is for you. And she calls her a B. And then <laughs> it's, it's I don't F with you, you little stupid ass, you know, yeah, B. Yeah. And she's singing it. And he's like, oh, my God. Like, it's in the front of the school. 
And he's <laughs> like, I didn't know these were the words. And then finally, he's like, all right, screw it. Like, it's what we're going to do. Let's do it. He starts getting into it, dancing and stuff. And then, like, they cut the record. They finally cut the record. And she goes straight a cappella for the rest of it. <laughs> That's cool. So it's, dude, if you, if you just Google it or whatever on, like, IG or whatever, oh, you'll find scene? the clip. Yeah. The clip is hilarious, bro. So like that's how I felt when he said on the on the on the hot mic. <laughs> and everyone was absolutely cracking up. So after he comes out, I told him, I was like, Bro, when you dropped your hook, you know, you said the S word. He's like, No way. He's like, You guys heard this? <laughs> everyone heard it. <laughs> everyone. Heard it. So he was nervous that his teacher was gonna say something to him. And I guess he just called him like Mr. Potty Mouth or whatever. That was it. But like it was it was an enjoyable easy. experience, man. Yeah, oh, he got off super easy because <laughs> you know, because everyone was a star. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly, and you know, if there was one Karen in the audience, it would have been he would have had to done something. Mm -hmm. But uh, everyone laughed like the entire like it was probably a bigger laugh than we got throughout the whole thing. Like some, of, I think it was actually louder than some of the applauses we got, which is hilarious. <laughs> so like, and, and everyone knew it was him. Everyone, everyone knew his voice. Everyone knew it was him, which was Very which was funny. awesome. So yeah, no, that was a definitely a proud dad moment. I've had a couple of them on on our podcast you know, this last like almost year that we're gonna hit, and this one is kind of it's it's way up there. So it was it was nice, and uh, thanks for letting me share all that. Yeah, of course, dude. Yeah, you're not allowed to talk about your family anymore. So <laughs> how dare you? But yeah, no. Well, talking cool. about that's talking about cool. family though, let's talk about Nahe. Oh yeah, Nahe's not comfortable. <laughs> Not comfortable, man. He saw our picture. Was Somebody's like, not digging what the, the hell's going on? No, not at all. We talked about your feet and you putting lotion and a toe ring, and, which I forgot to office. do, by the way. <laughs> right? No, I know. I was looking. Uh, <laughs> so he's he's sitting there telling me he's like, "Hey, man, what's what's going on with with uh, you and Sal and all this stuff you guys have been talking about?" I said, what? He's like, he's talking about shaving his legs and, you know, doing all this, <laughs> putting toe rings on. He's like, what, what's going on? I said, nah, it's all for the show, bro. Like, what's up? It's 2024, he is bro. super, super uncomfortable with it. I love it. <laughs> so he's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know about you guys. Like, I want to, I want to listen, but like, what's going on? Like, tell you, is there something hey, you want to tell me? What, what images like, get put in your brain is on you. Okay. <laughs> It's on you. I'm not saying that I showed up with like one of them little like baby doll pools that you add into the or like the the baby bath container yes. that you put into the bathtub with the kids so that Enrique could clean my feet at his house. Like we're not going all out crazy, but the idea of me making my feet look good for Big Daddy Boss <laughs> is different and funny. So you either just got to roll with it. Or roll with it, because there's no <laughs> options for you, bro. You just have to enjoy how extremely uncomfortable and both humorously comfortable uh, everything is there. Absolutely, like I, I, like he was dead serious with telling me, and I'm just like, bro, like it's all for the show, like we're good, like you know, I, you know, I'm still on Team V, like I'm, I'm good, like I'm yeah. not, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> like I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not good. to say, I'm not like... to say the feet would make you go in any other direction, but <laughs> well, I, I mean, don't think, I, feet... I don't think I have feet good enough to turn a, a normal, a normal uh, male. Into a well, into I mean, you were different... presenting like you were, so I like. I mean, I, I got like, the man. skill for it, but I don't think I. Could... You would be a different challenge. You'd be a different. Well, especially challenge. after I, I, I'm like, I envision you as having like Hobbit feet. Yeah, and they're like, not that, that bad. That wouldn't do they're it. Yeah, bad. well, so then that wouldn't do it for me. But you're like, nah. Like when I get the lotion on it, I start doing my whole like exfoliating. Like it's gonna be great. Like it's gonna yeah. be nice, and you're gonna put a toe ring on for me. Like that yeah, got very fancy. Right. <laughs> we literally me, dedicated a, a thumbnail to it. It's very fancy. I like to be fancy sometimes. I like yeah. to be fancy sometimes. I'm here for you. So I just want to just say, nah, hey, I love you, bro, and not like that. I just, I, you're, you're my bro, and uh, baby, come back. Like yeah. it's gonna be all nah, right. Don't bro. worry. It's be Everything's right. cool. Okay. <laughs> what I do in my off time to pay up some bills is my own business. <laughs> ah, that's what's it's up. It's not my fault that Enrique buys them all before I can really mass produce them. Okay, that's different. 
Oh, I, I, I get, I even yeah. get the negatives. Yeah, do they even call <laughs> the them negatives, negatives anymore? The what do they call? No, that's <laughs> the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. People still use negatives, negatives, Polaroids, okay. all that. Not uh, everything's on. The, not everything's on the cell phones. Although, yeah, yeah, cell okay. phone just is a better angle. I can edit it faster. So, oh, you absolutely can't. Yeah, no, right. no, definitely. It's it's an amazing thing, but just let you know, I'm I'm still playing on on the same team. Uh, it's just sometimes, you know, it's nice to be on the other side. Yeah, and another thing to celebrate, Big C. He's in a yes. real position. He's a real boy. He's, got... He's a real boy. <laughs> congrats, congrats, to UC man. I, we heard about your. Uh, we heard about your, uh, like official acquisition into a role. It's no longer temporary. It's no longer interim. It's full on like managerial. Hello, Dolly. Let me do my thing. Like that's that's yeah. awesome, man. Well, I have to take a lot of blame of why he's so insecure. about like his position because like his position i used to tease him and and just let him know that it's not a real thing like stop coming in and saying about that actually he just joined the tiktok what's up c uh (laughs) so i take some ownership in him having the insecurity about his position because i talked about how you know it wasn't a real thing so as soon as he got the like approval and he's official now i was that first phone call where he's like hey Stop saying I got a fake title. <laughs> check, check 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 out my AM title now. Like you feel me? The the, the pan's going in. I'm gonna I'm gonna be official. They're about to make me into a real boy. So like I'm like Geppetto, right? I'm like clicking my whole my you know my feet and doing dancing <laughs> for him. I'm excited for him. So congrats, Cecilia. You're an official guy. I appreciate like like you uh, letting me know so I can just stop talking about your fake title. Uh, but you're a real guy now. I can't say nothing. It's official. Right. You're built into the. You're built into the markup. So, you're there. Like, <laughs> you made it. You made it again. You made it yeah. again. So that's just another step on his journey of, of self. You know, bettering himself. Yeah. Uh, he became official. So now, yeah. like, he's got dirt on his shoulder. Not no more. Like he wiped that off. Now he's good now. Now we'll see him in six months. Because <laughs> 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 so, he's got a whole other set of routines. He's got a. You know, he, he does. Yeah, no, you that's told awesome. Me about very that. good. See, very good stuff. We're very happy. Congratulations, for you, bro. bro. We love you. Ah, <sighs> not like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I love that. The I'm gonna keep the silence in. Uh, normally, <laughs> I cut out some of the the dead moments, but that was that could not have been perfect based on the conversation before that. <laughs> we definitely need it. We definitely need it. We need it. So uh, again. We did the Thursday stuff with Beckham. This Thursday, we're doing Jason. So definitely, you know, we're going to be talking WWE yeah, so if, if you Road to WrestleMania. In, uh, if you want to tune in earlier than our normal, like, live Correct. cast times, you'll be able to hear kind of like, um, a, you know, a behind the scenes, make it as we break it moment of us doing, like, new segments that we want to start introducing throughout the week. So. Yeah, I think it's exciting. I think it's bringing a new element. We're starting to get some of our A1 day ones live up as guests, and we're not putting it as part of our normal routine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, I, like I said, the Beckham one, I think was was a great like nod to our sports like backgrounds and stuff like that. I yeah. think it was a it was a great you know ninety minutes. We're not going to do a whole ninety minute segment. Sal's cutting it up into I mean, three sections. Yeah, yeah, we could do a ninety minute segment with just wrestling <laughs> alone, but it'll it'll oh. get broken up into like highlight moments. Or I know Absolutely. that we had. Um, like yeah, we pretty much went over basketball, football, and wrestling when we were with Beckham, so we can I can chop that down. And yeah, this in depth with wrestling is going to give you. Let me let me tell you what's going to give you. It's going to give you. It's going to give you wrestling insight. We're going to mm-hmm. talk about Vince McMahon and what's going on with that mm-hmm. with that whole thing. Mm-hmm. We're also going to talk about a bunch of relationships and yeah, who's dating Jason who. Can't help himself. <laughs> Jason cannot help himself. <laughs> he he is the the telenovela of of WWE. <laughs> so like the E part of entertainment for him is like E Hollywood. Yeah. He needs to know who's dating who. So that is definitely going to be on. Uh, and he's not going to hear this episode until after we've recorded. So then he's going to hear about what we're saying. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's an avid listener. Like he be, yes, he he's be caught up. Stuff. He's all caught up. Yeah, no, he be quoting stuff, and like that, that surprises me. It's nice. Yeah, it is. Um, nice. You know, so it's nice to hear those things. But like, so he's going to hear this after he's already recorded, which is going to be hilarious. Mm. Um, so he hears all the grimace comments and all that stuff. So he's been a good sport. Uh, and we're we're looking to do more of those uh, Thursday segments. So if you guys want to put um you know comments in our youtube channel our discord you know tiktok twitch we got sal over on twitch sal what's your twitch handle it's just sal just sal yeah, he's, he's sal. branded across everything just yeah, sal i've kind of rebranded uh, everything to make it uh, universal like that 
Yeah, it's nice. He's doing nice. I'm trying to be inspired by him. So, yeah. And then I made my return to Twitch over the weekend. Oh, yeah, uh, that was so... <laughs> great. See some baseball moments. The minute I show up, he, he, Super... he oh, my just God. drops it in his pants hard. It gives up like a th- it gives up a triple and then a home run. Like, oh, it was great. It was great. It was, so I'm, I'm... I felt so, so back at home at that exact moment. It was awesome. <laughs> So again, I'm I'm playing MLB the show. I'm reprising my role as as closer. Uh, again, got drafted by the White Sox. Brand new, brand new thing, but I'm doing it again. Mm-hmm. And I'm just mowing down people in the triple, you know, triple A ball. And uh, as soon as I see Sal pop up on my Twitch feed or whatever, and he makes a comment, I'm like, Sal, check it out. Whatever I'm talking. All of a sudden, it's a double. Yeah, let's give him that here like, double. All right, man, yeah, maybe, maybe we should do that inside slider home run. I was like, this is great. This is what I not pay for. This is what I love oh it. Oh, my God. So as soon as he comes in, he's mush. I'm, he's, <laughs> he's giving me all the bad vibes. Everything goes. I, I do a couple more games. I'm like, I'm switching to Yeah, Madden. he's got to switch. Like, he went to Madden. <laughs> and the Madden, I couldn't stop it. There's, there's no 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 aura, no no ridiculous aura I could give would, would stop him. He had like four players quit on him. Like, that, that's kind of... Back that's, to back that's crazy. to back. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, what's funny is, like, they weren't talking, but I know they could hear me because I was talking to the, you know, my Twitch people, which is just Sal, mm. which is funny because that's his name on there. <laughs> so I'm, it's just Sal because I haven't been on in so long. I don't I have eight followers and, like, nobody else was there. Yeah. Three so of them are it's, <laughs> I, <laughs> it's all his, it's all his bots. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and these guys are throwing passes. I'm intercepting everything. I'm making them fumble. I'm not playing real good on offense, but my defense is so good yeah. that I don't need much offense. And they're just they're just quitting. They're just quitting. I finally get one where it's like he doesn't he doesn't quit. He goes down by 14. He stays on. He's a real one. Mm-hmm. And then he comes back on me. Yeah. And he takes the lead in the fourth quarter. So now I'm like, I gotta stand up. So I, it's yeah, it's like three minutes left in the fourth quarter. I've got the ball and I'm driving. I throw an interception. Mm-hmm. He's up, so I'm thinking he's gonna run the ball. He's gonna you know kill the clock. Whatever he doesn't, he starts throwing the ball and I intercept. It. So now I'm hyped up, but now I'm in already in field goal range. So I'm only down by a point. I take the field goal. I'm up, you know, I'm up only by two points. And he comes out, and all of a sudden my defensive line is giving all types of pressure. I'm I'm sacking him. He's going down. He's pissed. He doesn't even say bye to me. We were having pretty good conversations. Yeah, back yeah the guy was all right. Chatty throughout the whole the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was he was all right. Um, and you know he lost. It was it was nice. I finally got that out of my system after what happened to me on the show. Uh, Sal was there and he didn't give me the mush on the football. So no, no, I let it pass. It. I allowed it to. I allowed it to be. That's how much control I have. I just chose not to. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is the uh, the king of the mush, and he knows when yeah. to allow his powers to go freely across the land and when to reel them back in and say, "Not today, sir." Yeah, that's why so I don't I watch Bulls you. games as much as I do anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the minute, the minute I still watch that, I have to talk about like repairing a house. <laughs> Apparently, that's the only way the Bulls will do well. And then they, and then they your destroyed... dad's sitting there like your dad's like you're using the wrong one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, what's the name? They they killed the Trailblazers the other day. They did. They did. So it's like what they what did. is going on? And then I, I have to wait. I think tomorrow they play. The Blackhawks don't play until like next week. I was telling yeah. Jason, I go, there's there's no real sports on until <laughs> until next week. Yeah, that's right. That's He's right. like, well, maybe you on. should watch Raw. And I ended up watching like maybe in. Maybe two hours out of three hours of raw, and there's I'm like Jason. This is why I, this is why I don't watch it. It was yeah, it's bad. bad. It was bad. Even without they they went commercial free in the first hour, it was still caca. Like, I was just not I was just not digging it. That that's poop translated. Yeah, ultra poo poo. <laughs> Side so. note: My son is all about saying the word poop now, because oh, nice. we're like, hey, tell us when you poo poo or pee pee. So that we know to change your diaper, or give us the preempt so that we can get you to the toilet. Right. So now everything is poo poo. Everything. <laughs> He's like, "What's up, Daddy Poop?" I'm like, "What, Daddy Poop?" And he like points at me and high fives me. I'm like, yes. "No, man." He goes, "What about Mommy Poop?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> dude, stop calling people poop." Yeah, okay. Can I have my tablet, I... Poop? I'm like, dude, you need to relax with the poops, okay? And then he finally points at his diaper. He's like, I did a poopy. And I was like, okay, dude. <laughs> like, let's go. March to the bedroom. And he'll do like the high knee march. 
because oh, my, nice. my mom like plays with them like that to get them in a, a routine. So I was like, yeah. march to the bedroom. And he's like, march, march, poop, march, march, poop. <laughs> <laughs> then he jumps on the bed, lies down, picks up like my phone or tablet, and he and then he just waits. Like oh, the, yeah. the royal prince has requested yeah. a change. Right. Yeah, I was like, oh, right. I don't like, okay, buddy. But he's starting, to, I, he's starting to pee in the potty now. So I was like, that's cool. Hey, Good for you. that's what's up. Yeah. He's, he's just turned three, right? Yeah, just turned three. Like my wife figured nice. out this really weird rhythm of like she'll time it after his uh, naps or whatever. She'll put the like kid that like mini kids potty or whatever in the tub, yeah. put his feet in that like baby tub thing, like the baby. So his feet don't get wet and yeah. then run the water and then he'll just sit there and pee and giggle. Oh, nice. So she's like, I think I figured it out with him. Now we just have to figure out a way to have him pee on the toilet outside of the tub, and we'll just slowly transition him into it. I was like, hey, whatever works, let's go for it. Just tell me yeah, when I can you... stop buying diapers, because that's well, like 50, yeah, a lot. 60 bucks a pop. Like, <laughs> I'm yeah, tired. It's, it's a lot. Well, and then your water bill. She's running water all the time. See, the thing is, is my water bill's not that bad. I'm not too worried about that. It's, the diapers are like four times my water bill, <laughs> it's like without, <laughs> without a doubt. We have good, we have a good water system here in Northern Lake County. I don't have to worry about the bill. My man. So we used to put the uh, the potty in front of the TV. This is before obviously all these tablets and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but they would get comfortable in just using it. And then, but my boys, my two youngest, didn't start using the bathroom bathroom until like right before they started school. Oh wow. Yeah. So. Boy, well, he's pretty much forever. he's pretty much right there. So yeah, he he's taking us. He's just too comfy in those diapers. I'm like, tell I'm me about. I'm telling you, I can't wait till I'm 90 and I can just walk around, just blowing loads and <laughs> like That's dirtying it. it up and just be like, hey, lady that I, you know, hopefully can pay out of my Medicaid. Uh, let's go. <laughs> we got things to do here. But that's what a sit down so shower is for when I'm old enough. We so. got a we got a suggestion in the TikTok chat. Yes, that says Cheerios in the toilet. Tell them to aim. Oh, so yeah, make okay. Game. Make it a game. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. When, See, he, gets, my, my when kids... he gets comfortable, stay, he's a sitter for now. So when he gets comfortable oh, with sure. the standing, for sure. That's a that's yeah. a great idea. And then you're going to have more problems because there's going to be pee everywhere. Well, I mean, that's what I figured was going to happen anyway. Yeah, it's it's bad. I just figure once the boy sits that that pee is just going straight up because he doesn't understand the, like, you know, angle down oh. or talk or anything. And I'm like, bro, there's a lot of, this is a skill set that you have to like eventually master in your own way. You know what? And nobody appreciates the skill that happens when you're not just peeing everywhere. Like the aim and like the making sure that the, the yeah. flow that's coming out, yeah. that once it starts to, to decrease, that now you, you've got to make sure that yeah. you're still like you within still be the area aim, of the Because then you don't want to drip on, yes. yeah, you don't want to undrip right. or over drip. The, like the the science that There's goes into it. urination, we don't get enough credit. All we do is get like the blame when we don't hit the toilet bowl. There is so much that goes into aiming. Yeah. It's hard. And then you can't just turn it off. So then you've got to be like Ghostbusters, right? Where they start <laughs> shooting somewhere and they have to move the stream to the actual ghost. Like <laughs> there's all that debris. I think I was really to the uh, bowl. I was really inspired by A League of Their Own where Tom Hanks just has like yes. a 98 second P in the beginning. I'm like, right. that's me. That's me. But 100%. if if he would have been peeing into a toilet, that thing would have went all over the place. The fact that he had a 20-foot urinal that he could pee into is why yeah. he didn't spill anything and went forever. And then wait Cause... until you have to, like, change it up. Because I remember there were moments where I'm holding, like, these babies as they are infants. And I'm like, I really got to pee, but I can't put you down. Well, right. well you got to figure this out. I open up that shower curtain. You know, pee in the tub and then grab the, the shower head and got to clean that off because my OCD won't let that sit there. I was like, you and I got to do that while down. I'm holding a baby. Like, this, you yeah, got right. to be able to juggle, man. Literally. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Look, it's a lot. When well, you're handling a I'm lot pretty of much, I'm like pretty that. much handling two babies work. at that point. Like, you got to make it work. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a lot. Put some respect on us. Make sure you hook us yeah. up on Father's Day because it's a lot that we're oh, doing. Oh, here we go. And don't get me, don't get me back, back on to, that. It's all to get around. back to Father's Day. <laughs> it's coming around. If you had, if you weren't here for our earlier episodes, yes. I had like a, a, like 65 a episodes later. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming full circle right now That's with right. the Mother's Day, Father's Day stuff because we're getting close. I'm right. starting to feel it again. I'm starting to itch. <laughs> he's, he's getting those ticks. <laughs> He's getting no ticks. He doesn't even know why he's scratching his neck so much. 
Oh my God. It was, I remember those days. Those, I was fired <laughs> up about it. And I think you guys told me, like, hey, can we stop talking about Mother's Day? Already? Yeah, I was like, dude, we, it's like three episodes <laughs> straight. We've been like, it's okay, man. Everything's fine. I'll get I was you a so card. irritated. Then I go on vacation and they had the flyer out there for Mother's Day brunch, but it was already in June. We should have been talking about Father's Day, but the damn Mother's Day thing's still up. Yes. Don't get I mean, me started. Father's, I'm, I'm Father's Day, don't drink. drink as many mimosas. Drink more mimosas and you'll get a flyer all for yourself. Okay. It's just right. marketing. Again, here we are. It's just marketing. Yeah, Everything's fine. So, it. with that being okay. said, thank you everyone for <laughs> hanging out with us live on Twitch and TikTok. We appreciate you guys being here. We appreciate the comments, the likes, uh, you know, the, the Q&As that we pretty much do while we're on the spot here. Uh, don't forget... Don't forget to hit that little bell for notifications on YouTube. That's where all the bread and butter is to make the That's ultimate right. NBOT sandwich. Um, don't forget to jump over on our Discord. You get a little bit of a more behind-the-scenes, kind of a more unique aspect to how Enrique, myself, Cecilio, and our group of fun, awesome people kind of interact with one another. There's a lot more trash talking that happens there. There's a lot more, hey, go check out this movie. You'll like to see this. Right. Um, you get to see progress on some of our, the resolution stuff that we're, we've we been pulling out for this year, so you get to see it there as well. Um, again, our social media handles with um, Instagram and Facebook for NBOT are starting to kind of pop up again, so we're talking more about not just, hey, come check out our podcast. You get to see some of the painting I've been doing. You get to see some of Enrique's highlights with, like his his kids um, singing and everything like that. And you get to see like me suffering through raw <laughs> in the beginning of today. <laughs> so there, there's moments where it's it's not all just about come come check us talk come check us out talking for an hour, but um, yeah. So I, I, you you get to get the full circle of everything that we do. Um, again, we appreciate you all there, all 109, holding steady, holding strong. We can't wait to get That's to right. our, our next uh, kind of like mini, uh, what do you want to call it, mini uh, achievement or, or, or site goal of trying to get to that 250 marker because that's that's really where we want to go next. Um, Absolutely. And then just kind oh, of anyway, and we're about to We're on the road to 100 episodes. We're getting close to that. Yeah, we're, we're very, very, close the, to, uh, yeah. very close to 100 episodes with over 100 subs. 100, it's 100 for 100. And we're, yeah, that's that's right. We're that's at. right. ESPN, eat your heart out. That's right. Get ready. There's no 30 for 30. It's 100 for 100, <laughs> period. <laughs> But um, yes. yeah, we, we we're excited, everyone. Yeah, appreciate we all the support. We, we do appreciate you all, all the love and the hate. It's all good, you know, no matter what, because it just makes us better, better people. That's right. and, that, and that's what we always say: just be better. That's that's what it's just all be about. Better. That's just it. be better. Jenny, you hear that, Jenny? Fine. Yeah, Jenny with an eye. You hear that? <laughs> Jenny be better. With an eye. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we'll catch you all on the flippity flip. And as always. Stay classy. Yeah. Oh, lo and behold, Detroit does Detroit suck. Detroit sucks. <laughs> your basketball team blows, and your football team is just a little Cinderella story that never got their fancy dress. I'm sorry, never Barry Sanders, all. you were there. You had to experience that. But nonetless. They blow a 20, was it 27-point lead? Point they lead they 17-point lead yeah. at the half, 17. and just let it go because Brody decided to wake up. So. Already. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's so much Take I care, care, everyone. Just, yeah, we'll see you later. Good night. Good night.